Hello everyone, welcome to this video. In this one, I wanted to give you a quick guide on how to install Nessus Essential in your Azure infrastructure. Okay, so this is where I have just installed and took me less than five minutes and I just wanted to show you how to get to this, this point uh, if you have a Azure subscription with you. If you do not have one, just go ahead and get started with a free account. And once you have that account, just log in to your Azure uh, portal. And once you're logged in, just go to the search button, search bar over here and just search for Nessus. Okay. Uh, if you search for Nessus from the marketplace, you will see that you have a tenable core Nessus is available to you. Just click on that one. And it is going to open up the tenable core Nessus BYOL that uh, ready for you to be installed. Okay. So there are a whole bunch of things that you can do. The easiest way to install the Tenable Core Nessus is to is to go with the default Create button. Uh, and if you look at, they have different plan options. Okay, uh, user information support and uh, uh, overview. Okay, so overview. If you read, you would know that Nessus is one of the most popular vulnerability management solution. Uh, there are more than 1 million users and it is the world's most widely deployed vulnerability configuration and compliance assessment product. Okay, you can use this product to prevent attacks by identifying the vulnerabilities, configuration problems and malware that bad people like hackers could use to penetrate our network. Now, they update their vulnerability database pretty regularly and uh, they have a, a very uh, knowledgeable security research team uh, who delivers accuracy to the marketplace. So most of the vulnerability de detection, you don't see uh, a, a false positive. Uh, the Tenable Core that we are gonna install, that is really a virtual appliance platform. Uh, it is a slightly customized version of CentOS 7. So if you have uh, used CentOS 7, you will be comfortable even managing the interface. And it's got some major features like AC, AC Linux enabled. And uh, configuration is already made CIS level one benchmark. And it's got a really nice GUI for configuration of a number of application and operating system features. As a matter of fact, once we install this, we are going to be accessing this application uh, from a web interface. So let's get started. Just click on create to get started with this particular Tenable Core Nessus uh, application. It's just going to create a virtual machine and, and, and just deploy the application for you. So let's create a new resource group. Let's just call it Nessus User and uh, create a, a resource virtual machine. So test Nessus is gonna be my virtual machine. I'm gonna deploy in the East US. I don't need any infrastructure redundancy image. Uh, it's just tenable core Nessus BYOL generation one. That is fine with me. That is what we are gonna deploy. Spot instance, I don't need at the moment. Uh, size based on your need you can choose a different side but this size is uh, good enough for me right now uh, DS1 V2 with one virtual CPU and 3.5 gigs of memory is good enough uh, password based authentication I'm gonna use for this one I'm just gonna use student as my username and uh, a secure password And repeat your secure password. Okay, so once you have that, just go through the next, and uh, you don't really need to change too much. You can just go ahead and use your uh, defaults for the rest of them. It is going to ask you for your phone number uh, before uh, it's, it's, it's the validation is passed. So I already have provided this uh, phone number. So if, if you have not provided, your validation is likely fail and you'll just go ahead and put a valid phone number in there and your you know the validation will be successful at this time you just hit on create and that's pretty much it so that you have deployed a NASA scanner uh, within your environment just in few clicks 
and you can look at the status of your deployment by click this notification icon right here or you can look right in this window uh, what is going on there should be things uh, that will uh, that will get deployed and stuff like that like over here uh, we have the IP address got created the NSC got created the virtual network got created and then here's the uh, network something else that's got created and it's now most likely creating the virtual machine itself which is going to be using all those different resources Okay, just give a couple minutes over here, refresh the page if you like, and uh, in a minute, I bet, you have this machine deployed. And the other thing that you can look look at, uh, the resource group, you know, the NASA user is the resource group that we created, and this is the subscription that I'm using for this deployment. So you can also go inside this resource group and see what is going on. So here are all the resources, as I said. Uh, and they're all deployed in the East US the way we asked uh, when at the time of the deployment. And you can also look at the deployment status right here under the deployment. It's, it says one is deploying. Now look at that. It says deployment is succeeded. That means the virtual machine that we started the deploy, uh, started the deployment just a minute back, uh, it's now done. So you can click on go to resource. So this is the machine, which is the Nessus user. It's it's running, and you have this public IP address assigned to this machine, and this is the private IP address. Now Nessus runs on a port 8834. So all you need to do at this at this point that you have this public IP address. Just come down over here, and then copy this up by public IP address. Okay, so just let's just do that, or you can just come over here and click on this tiny icon that says copy to clipboard. Take that one, and what I'll do, close this one, come back over here, open up a new tab, put it there, and 8834, and hit enter. And if you look at it, it's going to tell you bad request because any traffic that uh, to to that uh, console it has to be a HTTPS traffic so just in this HTTP is the beginning and hit enter and voila it says your connection is in private so don't worry about it just hit advanced and then just continue to your web portal and now there we go so now you have the Nessus which is deployed and it's running and it's ready to be configured now in here you have several different options okay uh, this is essential okay this is the one that we're going to com configure in this video today and this is if you hover over over here the question mark this is the free version of the nessus for educators uh, students and hobbyists uh, usually i think they would allow you to scan 16 ip addresses in your home network and uh, you can scan them as many times as you like. For a long time, Nessus was the only vulnerability scanner with a free edition uh, among the three uh, between Nessus, Qualys, and the Rapid7. Recently, even Qualys has come up with a, a community edition and they would also let you scan 16 IP addresses. So if you are stuck, why 16? I don't know, but that's the number uh, both of the products are using. Uh, if you have a Nessus Professional, uh, this is a paid version. You can also use this one if you have already licensed from them or you can use the enterprise solution uh, per, for you can use uh, the Nessus Manager. And you can also have option to configure it as a managed scanner like your scanner to another Tenable solution such as Tenable.io or Tenable.sc. So, for this lab, as I said, I'm going to stick with the free edition, so I'm not paying anything extra. So I'm just going to click on continue, and here uh, it's just it's going to ask you to get an activation code for the free Nessus Essential activation code. Enter the information. So let's just uh, put some information. I'm just using one of the, one of my accounts and uh, then let's see I have provided and then click on email once you have the information ready and it's 
it has emailed and it says the email was sent successfully so next what you need to do go to your email box and look at that tenable nest essential activation code that's available to me so here is my nessus code and it, look at that it also you can download the nessus in your local computer and configure it if you like but since i have it already running in our azure uh, infrastructure so i'm just going to get the activation code uh, paste it over here and hit continue now create a nessus administrative user account use this username and password to log into nessus so it's important that you remember this one I'm going to use the student and my very secure password again. To log in uh, to create the user account. Okay, notice that it only asks you to give the password only one time, which is to me that's not a good practice you can make a typo when you're typing your password and then when you retry to log in if you mistype something it can cause problem for you so just be careful and make sure that you know exactly what you have typed so it doesn't take really a whole lot of time to install uh, nations and initialize the whole thing and see this blue bar is progressing pretty pretty quick uh, and it's just saying initializing please wait while nessus prepares the files needed to scan your assets and it's just downloading the plugins that it needs uh, and again remember always nessus uh, is from tenable uh, sometimes people will refer this product as a tenable product uh, and there is some confusion with the name like tenable io tenable sc and nessus but just uh, uh, be aware there we, when we talk about nessus or tenable we're talking about the same product uh, uh, for the most part here another tenable logo down here really nice and cool looking uh, so it's almost done i'm going to pause the video just for a second and we'll be back as soon as this little bit of oh it's actually done and now it's a compiling plugin so let's compile little compile the plugin and let me pause the video for a second Hello everyone, uh, so it's been almost uh, 9 minutes and the compiling plugin is still ongoing. Uh, so if you're installing for the first time, just give yourself some time and be patient. Uh, a lot of time what happens, uh, this scanner, uh, a lot of the scanner tools, they will have to update or download the latest vulnerability information from a central database and that sometimes takes uh, a lot of time. So uh, just give yourself some time. I'm going to pause the video again. And once this is all done, uh, we'll reach the video. We'll log into the interface. We are not going to perform any scan in this particular video, but we'll make sure that everything is working and it's ready to go. So let me pause for another second. Thank you. Hey guys. Uh, so it took really 35 minutes almost to get all the plugins updated. So once that's done. I, I got this uh, uh, a box uh, where I can, if I want, I can really start doing my first scan right now. And it says, welcome to Nessus Essencio. To get started, launch a host discovery scan to identify the hosts on your network are available to scan. Hosts that are discovered through a discovery scan do not count towards the 16 limits on your license. So uh, this, if you, provide a CID and notation it will look for the whole network and see how many IPs are available okay if you want uh, you can do that and that will do a discovery scan so there might be 30 devices and it will identify all of them but it will uh, limit your scan to only 16 devices okay I'm not gonna do that I'm just gonna close this one but if you want to do it feel free to go ahead and do that so just close it and this interface is pretty clean uh, really uh, if you're you know a beginner if you don't have a lot of experience but you just want to scan your own uh, computer uh, or, or your home network uh, just come over here just start with the create a new scan 
and there are a whole bunch of scan options that are available and uh, some of the options they are for like the premium version you need to upgrade your uh, subscription so that you you can get some of the features but if you look at it a lot of the features are available for everybody and the most one of the most common scan would be a network a basic network scan so here you would click on it uh, you can do both uh, uh, both both uh, authenticated and unauthenticated type of scan and here looks like this API is currently disabled in my system so we'll have to contact uh, Tenable to get it uh, working but uh, I'm just gonna log in one more time and uh, there is uh, something mismatch. Web browser is not catching a whole version of the HTML UI. The web server has completed restarting after an update. The plugin feed is uploaded. I'm just going to hit uh, next. Uh, uh, come back in. Um, scanning is not really the goal for this particular lab. So this is basically uh, the interface. Everything is available. Uh, really, the, for the scanning, you will go there. Uh, if you if you have done any scan they will all show up under the scan you can set up your policies and uh, you can uh, define different plugin rules or create a plugin rule and uh, you have a scanner uh, ready to go for ready to go for uh, performing a host discovery scan basic network scan uh, advanced dynamic scan even web application testing you can all, you can you can do that as well and there is some very specific scan uh, for the very well-known vulnerabilities like the Spectre Meltdown and the WannaCry ransomware scans that are also available uh, with a button, with a click of a button. Uh, with that, uh, I'm gonna gonna stop this video, uh, and hopefully, uh, you know, you have something where you can quickly install the Nessus and get ready for scanning. Uh, your own network and, and have fun. Thank you for watching this video. If you like this one, uh, subscribe and uh, watch for more videos on Azure and uh, be safe. Thank you. Hey, I uh, just w also wanted to mention one thing. I noticed the problem, the API problem. I only have this problem. Uh, within this edge browser if I go back to my Google Chrome which I use the most uh, I see no problem with the uh, nations going to the scan so if I go to the scan and this is where we were having the API mismatch problem so I came back over here click on the basic network scan now I have this interface that's available to me if I want I can perform a scan and here you can do a scan uh, description you put something to get uh, if I want to scan my own machine I can always do localhost and I can do save or I can also do a scan and here uh, you can just uh, hit uh, launch to launch the scan and the scan would uh, run uh, it usually doesn't take a whole lot and I'm just doing my local machine is not uh, going over the network or anything and you will have your uh, results back uh, very very quickly so as the scan is running as the vulnerability is discovered you know you will see results over here and it's also telling you only five percent of the scan is now completed so you can click on it at any point and kind of uh, take a look at and these are of informational uh, uh, findings these are really not a vulnerability just like most other scanners they also have the critical high medium low and informational type of vulnerabilities that uh, uh, that are reported and again this is a center 7 based machine it's already following the uh, cis uh, level 1 benchmark so it should be pretty secure uh, plus it's running the nisa scanner it better be secure all right with that i want to close the video uh, good luck playing with the nisha and have fun Thank you.